close in three, two, one. Thirty minute candle close. Let's take a look at the fifteen minute candle. Fifteen minute candle tried to come down, but it left a rejection. One hour candle. Now, if you look on the one hour candle, the one hour candle, it it hasn't broken the low of the previous one hour candle, right? So based on the high time frame, which is the one hour, it hasn't broken the low of the previous one for the first half hour. So it just makes sense for the next half hour, the one hour candle should continue moving bullish. So that's the idea here in the trade. So we're going to wait for the one hour candle to close. And if it moves bullish, perfect. If it doesn't, then we're going to get stopped out. Oh, position got stopped out. So that was. That was uncalled for, actually. I mean, you know, it shouldn't have stopped us out. But if it starts to go bullish, if it starts to go bullish, we could see, an, oh, continuation here. Oh, I think that stop was way too low. That stop was way too tight. Now we look on the 1R. The 1R has essentially closed bullish now. Now it's on its way. If it's on its way, it's going to close bullish. The next 1R candle should fit this wick up over here. Moving, we're up 20 pips. We're up 20 pips. And this one should continue up and fill this wick at 145, 300. If you look on the 30 minute candle, 30 minute candles are good to go. Yeah, so, you know, that was a, that was a trade. Here you mainly, mainly like, you know, take profits or do whatever you got to do. But, you know, most important thing is you have to put stops at break even. When stops are at break even, you're closing half the positions. Let's say 0 0.30 is what you secure. Close. And you let the rest run. And that was your trade. That was your trade. <laughs> that was your trade for the day. <laughs> um, yeah, that was the trade of the day. Perfect. So now we're going to go to our next session, right? So this is stops are at break even. Now, since it's breaking up this area, you start to look left. You start to look left. You see, okay, then maybe this is the next area right here where price might head off to. You know, and after this, price might head off to your next area, which should be up over here around 145, you know, 145, 850. Um, okay, perfect. So let's go to, oh, wow, it just kept moving and moving. Perfect. So we're going to close this right over here, and we're going to go to the next New York session. Okay, so now this is another opportunity where price is going to continue moving up. You see how price broke out of this resistance? It made a high, came down, created a, created like this candle closed bullish. It created a support. So if a stop is below the previous candle, this should continue up, fill this wick, and probably continue up further. But we're going to go to the next session here and see what happens. Oh, it didn't. But we look at the time here. There's low volume. Okay. Oh, wow. What's going on here with GJ? All right. Let's go to the next session here. Um, so this is London Open, 10 a.m. London Open, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 6 a.m. Eastern once again. We are at 6 a.m. Eastern. That, that's the time I trade every day. So when you do simulation, it's very important that you only do simulations when it's time for you to trade. That is very, very important. So uh, now we're going to start with the daily. When we look at the daily, the daily candles are, it seems like, they're creating some sort of a resistance here for a continued move down. So if they were continuing to move down, it should come down to, you know, 144.676, but we're not sure. We have to look at it in more detail on the four-hour time frame. So when we go to the four-hour time frame, now we have some more information on the four-hour time frame. Right? On the four-hour, the candles are still bearish. With this bearish candle, it seems like, it's at the support or it's trying to do something at the support. We're not really sure because it seems like the next four-hour candle can continue moving down. But the only problem is that this four-hour candle hasn't closed yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the one-hour time frame and we're going to see some more information because it seems like on the one-hour time frame, 
this one hour candle close 